Hello, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to listen to your article in a database and how to download an audio version of the article for you to save later and listen to perhaps when you don't have internet access. Okay, so here we are on an article entitled Plagiarism. If I look over here on the left, I see four little buttons. One is for translating, one's to decrease the font size, and the other is to increase. And the last one here is a little speaker, and that controls the audio. So I'm going to click on this. If I run my mouse over, it says listen, but I'm going to click on it, and we'll start to hear the article. I, I don't know if you'll hear it in my video, but you'll see the highlighting. And as it's highlighting the article, it's also speaking the article. So I'll click this. Okay, and I. Okay, so I'm pausing, but hopefully you noticed the highlighting going on. Okay, it was very light, so it's a little too light for my um, choices, and I'm going to click on settings, this little gear, because I would like a different color for the highlighting. So you can see I have all kinds of options here to change the settings. All right, I can turn off the highlighting. Maybe I don't want it high, you know, highlighting, it's too distracting. Um, I can choose word and sentence, sentence only highlighted, or word only. So let's choose that one. And then I'm going to change the color for highlighting because this was too light for me. I'm going to pick blue. And I'm going to stick with the text being black. You can change the text color too, but I think for me, I need it to be black. So we have some other choices here. The reading speed I can change. Maybe I think it's a little too fast for me, so I'm going to slow it down. Or it's a little too slow, and I can speed it up. It's automatically set for medium. So I think I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay. And then if I don't like these settings, I can always just restore the default settings and start over. All right. So Let's close this and we'll try again. Okay, so you can't hear the speaker in this video, but it is speaking the words to me as I'm listening, as I click play here. Um, I, I didn't like some of those choices, I think I'm going to try no highlighting. So all these other choices go away when I say no highlighting. I can still change the speed. And these other things, if I want to know what they are, I can click on this little question mark. Okay, so pop up button controls whether or not a pop up button should be displayed when text is selected. Okay, so that has to do with taking notes and highlighting, which we talk about in another video. All right, so in this case, I'm just going to restore default settings because I'm not going to play it again. But basically, um, those are the ways that you can change highlighting the speed of the voice reading it to you. And one really nice thing that you can do is download a copy of the audio. So see this little download arrow. If I run my mouse over it, it says download MP3. And I'm going to click on it. It asks me to agree to the terms of use. So it's for your personal use only. You're not allowed to give it to other people or use it for any other purpose than to listen to it yourself. So I'm going to agree. And it will automatically download. And you can see it downloading to the right, to the left corner of my screen. Okay, so that is how you listen to an article and how you save the audio version of it.